I want to introduce our first speaker. Her name is Haley Frances Halstead. She's a junior here at the uh, Heron School of Art and Visual Communication Design. Um, she has an excellent talk coming uh, about creativity and how you can harness that and what that really means. I'm sure we're going to learn a lot from it. So, can everybody join me in welcoming Haley? Classes, sleeps on the couch, just enough time to get everything done. But there's one thing that I value most, and that's sleep. I like sleeping in my own bed with my own blankets and my own pillows. And with the winter months coming up, I like to break out my heated blanket for a real good time. So I sleep so much that I tend to dream a lot. And I don't allow myself to not dream which is how this talk actually came about. I had this dream on January 4th, to be exact, which brought me to talk about something that I'm super passionate about. Now, I want you to think back to the last time you may have said, I'm not creative. And this is a coined phrase for me, because as an art student, I have a lot of people come to me saying, oh, Haley, you can do this because you're the creative one, or you're the artistic one. But it's something much more than that. See, once you say that you're not creative, you're putting yourself into a box. You're allowing yourself to be stuck and hindered to all the restrictions they can have. I label this specific box not creative. As a college student, you can't change the system and the expectations of a classroom setting. But there's one thing you can change, and that's how you break through this box in order to be different and be yourself. Being stuck in this box could result in you coming out of your classrooms as cookie cutter, Kelly, or Heron students. But that's not how it should be. I want you to think about how you can be yourself and how you can create something that impacts others. The impact can be big or small, depending on your respective career choice or whatever you decide to do with your degree. But ultimately, it's up to you. I want to start with the word creative specifically, and this was the definition from the Oxford Learner's Dictionary, meaning involving the use of skill and the imagination to produce something new or a work of art. So stories, poems, plays. But to me, it means so much more. Being creative is not fine arts or arts related. Now it could be if that's your outlet of choice. But I want you to start thinking, the word creative is up to you. How can you create something? How can you think creatively? And how can you use that to benefit your life and your job? Everyone is creative. And personally, being creative is doing something new in a bold way. Different from the normal and original, all while exploring your imagination. A lot of people complain that they're not creative. And in reality, I see it every single day. People are creative and solve problems, and that's why they're successful. As kids, we were all creative. Don't believe me? Now you might. Because this is me decorating cookies, favorite pastime of mine. And speaking of cookies, did anybody else have the great quest to obtain the cookies from the cookie jar? The one where you hired your brother or sister to be on the lookout for mom and stood on top of a chair to get the cookies? Or the one time like with the same chair, like getting on top of the dryer and trying to get the doll breakers and the whole shelving unit falling down? Okay, yeah, that was just me Okay, all right. So. The point I'm trying to make is that you come across restrictions. Your mom coming in, falling off the chair, the shelving unit falling down. Um, but at the time, as kids, we didn't know what it was like to fail or possibly even have restrictions. All we cared about was getting that chocolate chunk cookie and enjoying it in pure happiness. And this, in relation to jobs now, the biggest struggle we might have is getting jobs after school or graduation. And we do know what it's like to fail, and we do have restrictions. 
But once you start thinking of creativity as a way of thinking and a lifestyle, things will start to change. People always tell me, make your dreams a reality. Don't let them be dreams. Don't let them sit there in your thoughts. And Well, for this talk, it is a dream and a reality. But for you, you may have not have explored some of the dreams you have. I encourage you to open yourself up to new ideas, new ways of thinking, and in order to be happy. Fair happiness right here. On a side note, is anybody still thinking about the last time they said they were creative? Was it two minutes? Was it two minutes ago? Yeah, okay. Listen up, because this one's for you. Meet Becky. She's a small town veterinarian in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and she's not particularly good at Pinterest crafts or artistic hobbies. Doesn't have them. Whoops, that's not Becky. Oh my goodness. Well, imagine Becky right here. <laughs> she's, she's having an off day. <laughs> okay, so Becky, veterinarian, hates Pinterest crafts, but what she does do is solve problems in a workplace. She's a vet, she takes care of pets in order to get them back home to their owners. She's great at con conflict resolution in order to keep her business growing running, and making sure her clients are satisfied. Through her story, we learned that, through her story, we learned that creativity is not a label. It's a way of thinking. You can apply the way of thinking of being creative to your any job you have. And in her case, she wants her clients to feel safe and at home, and her dogs to be able to run back to them. One example she mentioned is that she has to be creative in problem solving when her daughter brings her her broken stuffed animals and she has to use her surgery skills to put them back together. Next, meet Denise. This is actually Denise. <laughs> Before being an artist, she was an IT analyst and may sound boring to you, but to me, I find joy in hearing her story. She worked one-on-one -on -one with her own clients and customers in order to create prosthetics that were suitable for athletes that wanted to have an active lifestyle. She knew what it was like to be creative and she applied it every day in a workplace setting like Becky. But there was one thing that she started noticing. She wanted to help people and she wanted to grow and she wanted to make deeper connections, which brought her to her next chapter in her life as a spiritual art healer. It says it in the title, Art Healer. She helps people recover from the loss of loved ones by making, ripping, sewing, blankets and pillows, all with a creative mindset. She works one-on-one -on -one with them in collaboration. Collaborating is creative. You have to solve problems and communicate with others. And through her story, I want you to take away that creativity is not dependent on a degree or a job title. It's in your everyday life. Next, meet Brad. He's a psychotherapist, and he knows he's creative. He's kind of good at Pinterest crafts. His wife is a life coach, so he's automatically a creative person. But how do you maintain that creativity? If you know you're creative, how do you maintain or have an outlet to stay creative? How to stay inspired? As a psychotherapist, he helps heal patients and communicates with them and finds what they need in order to become the better version of themselves. For Brad, his creative outlets are maintaining his connection with God, building relationships, and scheduling time for himself to stay inspired. Creative outlets are one of the most important, th important things to practicing, growing, and manifesting creativity. He mentioned to me, I realized people are so different, and that's what makes us all so amazing. We differ in gifts and interests. And this inspired me to think of all the ways that you could have creative outlets. You could sew, you could write a book, you could go for your dreams, shoot for the moon, just like me. You have the ability to create anything that was once an idea. You can tell, artist by, by nature, I'm a designer. And for me, that's why I chose to be a designer, is because I believe that I have a creative talent and I love to help people. So what more of a perfect job or career to have is to be a designer. So I create tons of things, not a fashion or interior designer, let's just get that out there. A graphic designer with a strategic thinking background, and I absolutely love it. 
So I make posters and flyers and billboards and social media posts kind of like what we're all here for student engagements. I like to impact people and I like to grow businesses. And one of the most important things in my design career is to create impact. And I do that by giving identities and design systems to small businesses, brands, and people literally all over the world. And there's nothing I would ever want to do besides that because I know I'm taking a vision and an idea and I'm giving it back in the execution of something that's either tangible, handwritten, or something they could use to touch others and connect. And it's almost like that one person has a purpose and my designs help them find that purpose. And it's, there's nothing more satisfying than seeing someone grow, travel the world, buy a new car, buy a piece of beer just because the label was foil stamps. And I have the ability to get a reaction and impact people. So one thing I allow myself to do is have a new, open-minded mindset. Whether it's meeting a new group of people, finding a new activity I enjoy, getting a new job, starting and ending a project where I really do not know what the outcome is. It's the risk of being creative that's going to get you farther than you could ever imagine. In order to succeed in these new experiences and problems and ideas and dreams, you have to embrace that change. Sometimes you got to get uncomfortable. It's going to happen. You introverts out there, it's going to happen. So just let it go. Allow yourself to accept those new things and just run with it. Think of every idea, motive, lesson as a way to learn and gain knowledge and grow as a person and then eventually better yourself. And I mentioned being uncomfortable, and I mean that. Don't get too comfortable. Each person manifests creativity different. And it's up to you in deciding how you're going to do that. I find myself more comfortable as I learn and grow as a person. So I encourage you to want to learn and grow and be the person you aspire to be. Want to take that challenge, take that risk, and be able to live your life happy and not only for money. That's a big problem that I've noticed with college and picking a degree and a major. you got to love it. you got to love what you do. It's going to make the time and the money that you make so much more worth it. If it's not in your job or degree, find something else. Have those creative outlets and allow yourself to just think of creativity as a way of life. You only get one, so you may as well just make it worthwhile. So one thing that I, I guess, I'm inspired by being different. I'm pretty different, and I'm okay with that. So don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't be, be yourself. I was going to say don't a lot. Um, just allow your mind to wander and explore and imagine anything. Do something that makes you uncomfortable. Learn a new skill. Apply it. Tell your lab partner that great idea that you've always wanted to tell someone. Put it on YouTube, tweet it, text it. Make sure your ideas get out there. Share it with the world. It could be as simple as talking to someone on the side of the street or going to Marsh just to talk to somebody because that's what I've done. But find what outlets to incorporate into your life. Allow that shift to happen as it does naturally. Start doing yoga or riding bikes, reading a book, singing a song in public by the water fountain. It's fun. It'll go over great. Find what makes you live more comfortably in your own skin. Now you're probably thinking for a speech about creativity that I used a few cliche things like follow your dreams, don't be in a box. Newsflash, I'm being creative. It doesn't have to be right or wrong, and it doesn't have to be a certain way. What's you makes you, and what you do makes your life better for you. It's all about you and yourself. I'm going to bring the box back up again, because I can't say it enough. Get out of the box. Things will start to align. You'll start cutting yourself, and there's no right or wrong way. Creativity is a way of thinking. It's a way of living. It's a way of growing and learning and aspiring. You're going to get that job. It's going to set you apart from your peers and potentially your employers. 
you're going to get the job, you're going to make the money, because I know that's important, and that's pure happiness. Just like the cookie, you're going to, it's just going to be pure happiness. Can't say enough. Being yourself, stepping out, and shining is all important in practicing creativity. Allow yourself to formulate ideas and creatively solve the problems that you come into every day. Set yourself from others, but most importantly, take action. If you have a plan, go with it and take action. So try and think of one thing before we leave today that you're going to do to incorporate the creative mindset. Use the knowledge you have to create change. Use your skills to create emotion. Use your textbooks. And being creative will set you apart from everybody that you fear. You can let yourself dream about all the possibilities that you have tonight. You can bring out the heated blanket early. It's not too early. And think tonight, how will I dream and make it a reality? Sit in your comfy bed with your blankets and allow yourself to think outside of the box. Allow yourself to be the creator. Cut your own cookies and have your own ideas and be yourself in all of that. And be you and be bold and live creatively. Thank you.